Aloha and welcome back to Living 808. Singapore is home to some of the best street food in the world. Yes, it is. Now, these markets where vendors sell ready to eat food, they're called hawker centers. We visit two of them today. If you want really good food in Singapore, you don't have to spend a fortune. Just head to one of their hawker centers or street food markets. You'll find everything from Indian and Chinese food to Malay food and much more. Believe it or not, you can even get a Michelin star meal for under three bucks. Now, I'm here with Maureen Ao, who is a food blogger here in Singapore. Maureen, I know that you're going to take us to a couple of food stalls today, but before that, what do you think makes the street food here so popular and unique? Well, Singaporeans eat out most of the time, and we go to hawker centers because we have more than 300 of them. And every dish speaks about a story, a recipe passed on from generation to generation. It's unique in its own way. I can't wait. I am hungry. Where are we heading to first? First stop, Liao Fan. We are going to eat chicken rice. Let's go! Hawker Chan, this hawker store has been awarded Michelin one star since 2016, and it's the cheapest as well. It's only two dollars per plate. Okay, I have heard about this place, and is this the chef? Yes, this is Hawker Chan. Meet the man. Hello, Hello. so nice to meet you. Can you ask him? I want to know how has his life changed since becoming a Michelin star food vendor? So, you won the Michelin Star after your life has changed? Ah, before that, the so after he was awarded Michelin star, life gets busier because he has opened a few other more outlets and the difficult part is to maintain the quality and the consistency of the dish. Well, he must be doing something right because there's a long line to get his dishes and it's, it's a rice and chicken dish. Yes, correct. It's a soya sauce chicken together with rice. Well, I can't come here and not try the food. So can we go ahead and eat? Will he join us? Let's eat, okay? Okay. Let's go. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Try it. Uh, Maureen, how do I eat it with the two sauces? Oh, well, you pair with the dark one and then the chili sauce. Just a little bit. Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh this is good. I'm sure there are other stalls that have chicken and rice. Can you ask the chef, what makes this one so special? Chef,你这道菜有什么特别的?跟其他店不一样的。其实我的游戏就跟一般来的是香味都很浓。跟外面的普通的这个特别之处就是在这里。大约是一个钟头多。它你看它的啊,是啊,味道啊,还有香味都
that I think you will like. Okay, it sounds super interesting. I can't wait to try it. Shall we go get some? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Douglas, can you explain what all this is? Okay, so the noodles is below with the, the sauce, uh, and then these are the fish balls. You can see all the shapes are different because they're all handmade. This is the fish cake as well with uh, different ingredients inside. The chili, the celery leaves. To make it more a bit more fusion, we introduce fish skin, and then the fried dumpling as well. So this is a, a premium version of uh, our traditional fish ball noodle. Okay, and how do I eat it? Is there a... Okay, what do I eat first? You can toss the noodles. Uh, I can show you, I can yes, show you that. Okay. Uh, so, the sauce are all, you know, so you're supposed to mix it like, like that. Okay, loosen up the noodles. So we have like vinegar, we have uh, the pork lard as well. So you can try it now. Yeah. I have to ask you, you seem very young to be a hawker. <laughs> How did you get into this business? I mean, uh, it's a, obviously a dining trade, hawker. Uh, but I mean, I, I'm always passionate about this trade because I, when I go outside and eat at other hawker centers, some of them are already old and they're retired. So I want to help to preserve this heritage of ours. And I really enjoy what I do. Yeah. And uh, Maureen tells me that you got this recipe from your, is it your grandmother? Yeah, this, this uh, fish balls are actually from my grandmother. It taught me when I was uh, 16 years old. Okay. Did she willingly give you this recipe? <laughs> uh, yes, she did, but I had no intentions to become a hawker back then. So uh, with the least amount of capital, I want to start a food business. And there we go. Douglas, thank you so much. Maureen, thank you so much for introducing Douglas to us. Okay, here we go. There it is. Fishball noodle. Looks Who so th heard of such a thing? Yes. Everything was so delicious. And because, you know, like she said, there are more than 300 hawker centers right. in Singapore, very, very reasonable. You know, these dishes are under three bucks. Uh, most people eat out for every meal. You can People afford who, it. You can afford it. Right. Yes. And yes. you're eating good food. I know. Homemade food. So delicious. Oh, I still want to yeah. go to Singapore. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. Next time. If you want to go to Singapore and check out local favorites like Gardens by the Bay, Marina Bay Sands, and any of those hawker centers, you can do what we did and hop on a Scoot Airlines flight. Scoot offers excellent delivery service with personality, a contemporary feel, and the choice to pay for what matters most to you, all for for a competitive price. Book now and grab a one-way scoot ticket from Honolulu to Singapore via Osaka from as low as 280 bucks, tax inclusive for economy or from $890 for premium economy scoot biz seats. Start planning your next trip at flyscoot.com today. I've been getting lots of uh, people emailing in, saying that they want to go to Singapore, right. and look how reasonable it is Very affordable. Um, on Scoot Airlines, know, and we had the best affordable. time, so big mahalo to Scoot. Aloha. Yes. I'm sad that it's over. Oh. Yes. Today's the last day, right? Today's the last day. But yes. maybe, maybe we'll go again. Yeah, right? Singapore, part two, coming up. <laughs> coming up on Living 808.